a.m. Eastern, 4 a.m. Pacific. We now take you live to the House floor. The House will be in order. The prayer will be offered by the guest chaplain, Pastor Zach Randall's Waterfront Church, Washington, D.C. Let us pray. God, we come before you today as a nation staring into a fog of uncertainty. With less than a month to the election and a global pandemic complicating just about every aspect of life, may we remember today that the intensity of the present will not last forever. Our struggles, though very real and all-consuming, are only for a season. While it is day, may we tirelessly work to complete the task that you have set before us. God, give us the tools we need to humbly lead, listen, and strengthen those around us. Let us speak with wise words, laced with courage and faith, so that when the fog is lifted, we do not need to feel ashamed of these days. It is in the name of Jesus we ask these things. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Pursuant to Section 4A of, of House Resolution 967, the Journal of the Last Day's Proceedings is approved. The Pledge of Allegiance will be led by the gentleman from West Virginia, Mr. Mooney. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pursuant to Section 4B of House Resolution 967, the House stands adjourned until 11.30 a.m. Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. The House is meeting in pro forma sessions this month with no legislative work scheduled, though members of Congress could be called back to Washington if an agreement is reached on a coronavirus.